This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2016 Ford F350 single rear wheel, crew cab short bed. Uh, it is a 6.7 liter turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's the FX4 off-road suspension package. Um, has 157,169 actual miles. It was a Ford Motor Credit lease return and we bought it directly from them. And it's a beautiful truck, really nice truck. Um, anyway, we get them here, we do an inspection, this is what it looks like, and there's not a whole lot going on here. My guys hand me this, it says, great truck, looks great, runs great. Let's see what else they say. Ford Motor Credit lease return, new tires from Discount Tires installed 1221 of 18, which is about an hour and a half ago. All this vehicle needed was tires and a detail. It could have gotten a car wash it was that clean i don't even know if it needed a detail but might as well right anyway uh really nice truck i'm gonna show i'm gonna walk around it i'll point at anything i see that uh cosmetically you can look at in the gallery we're using the little uh magnifying glass icon uh in the, on the photo gallery you can zoom in on stuff if i point at something it means i saw something when i'm walking doing the walk around um that you could zoom in on in the photos um once we get around the whole truck, I will start the truck up. We'll go under the hood. I'll also show you the Carfax um, from the truck, which is really boring, which is good. Like I said, these are brand new tires as of hour, hour and a half ago. Um, this is just a nice truck, you know, uh, <laughs> really nice truck. Clearly highway miles, clearly, I mean, there's a lot going correctly on this one this is a beautiful truck anyway um so i'm just going to kind of whip through this thing if i see something of note i will tell you and uh so far i don't see anything which is crazy uh i'm not really so much i'm so sure that the previous owner used this as a truck based on the condition of the bed usually when you have a truck you'll have things all over the edge of the bed and stuff but I think this was, ah, there we go. There's a little tiny ding right there. Plugs right there. May have a fifth wheel uh, receiver deal there, but doesn't look like it ever had a fifth wheel in it because again, if you know anything about towing and fifth wheels, you would have dents in there and there aren't so i don't know the guy was the best driver in the history of truck driving and the gentlest guy ever with a truck or he didn't use it as a truck it was used as a car which is kind of what it looks like i mean gosh i haven't seen aside from that little ding in the tailgate that's all i've seen there's nothing going on here unbelievable um all right, let me fire this guy up. It says 157,273 miles. Boom. There you go. All right, let me show you the Carfax here. There's the Carfax. Based on the uh, events affecting this vehicle's value, no accidents reported, one owner vehicle, service history. Um, they give it a retail value on Carfax of $34,430. There's the VIN of the truck. No accidents, no damage, one owner. I did this yesterday uh, around uh, noon, uh, 1220 I ran this Carfax. So it's very recent. And like I said, it's extremely boring. Boom. That is that. Really boring. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go under the hood. Under the hood, we're gonna be looking for uh, Ford stamps on both fenders, which obviously would indicate they're original, which on this car, they are, obviously. Um, let's see. B -b 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 -uh. Ford stamps. Uh, where are they? Uh, uh forget where they go. I don't remember where they go. 
On some of them, they go right here. Huh. There's a little stamp here. Original battery here. There's the Ford stamps for the hood there. Here's the Ford stamp here. Original battery. Let's see if I can get the oil cap off and look for blow by. There you go. That's beautiful. That is excellent. This is a pretty truck. We bought it in Phoenix a couple days ago and uh, drove it back from Phoenix. I drove my little Toyota Matrix and my shop manager ran, drove this truck. I'm not really sure how that worked out that way. I'm supposed to be driving this and he's supposed to be driving the Toyota. I'm a benevolent boss. Let's see, there's a wheel lock, manual. Look at the carpet. This thing, I mean, if you didn't look at the odometer, you would swear this thing has 20,000 miles on it. Oh, I got the window locks on. Nice truck. Wow. Wow. Man. Stuff. Let's see. There's your driver rear window, passenger rear window. I had that on, so now they're unlocked. All right, let's see. There's your mirrors in and out on this side, right? And let's see. We'll go to the other side. There you go. Let's see. Mirrors out in up and down other side out in up and down what else we got going on here well we got pedals right here let's see there it is i don't know how to work these things there they go that's down that's up tilt wheel that power seat forward back up down it's about that boy look at the seats that's crazy this thing would easily passes 20,000 miles with your without looking at the odometer All right, let's see. Seatbelt on. La 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 la. Let's go through this stuff. So you got all that going on here. Gauge mode. Boom, boom. There you go. Economy, truck apps. There's that. Settings. Ba, ba, ba. By the way, don't mess with the key and the and the setting speed limits. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. I did that on a truck a while ago, and it was a huge mess. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to put a governor on your kids in the car because if you do, you'll end up regretting that. All right, so that's that. Let's see, we got a radio here. Steering controls. 
All right, so radio works fine. MP3, CD player. Let's see what we got going on here. On. Ear down. That's definitely. That all works fine. Yep, that's air right there. Turn that off because it's a little a little cold out. We need a little heat right now. Let's, let's do that. There's all your see all this stuff. Boom. Um, trailer disconnected. We do know that. There we go. Alright. So what else we got? We got parking sensors here, I guess. Let's see, what else? Tow haul. That's me doing that, see? Boom, boom. Oh, lights inside. There you go. Got some sunglass holders here. God, this is a nice rig. All right, put it in neutral. We're gonna go to four low. It says shift in progress, advanced track off, which is what it does when you put it in four low. Drive. In reverse in four low. I'm gonna check the uh, backup sensor. Let's see if we can hear a buzzer going off here in a second. Yep, parkade works. Go to neutral, we're gonna go to four high. Shift in progress, advanced track on, because now it turns on when you're in four high. And that's a little quicker. That's in drive, reverse in four high. Perfect, got this a nice car like this truck a lot all right now we're gonna go to four two-wheel drive now we're back in two-wheel drive see what this is too now we're gonna go for a ride all right turn the heat off now it's getting warm uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. all right this truck is being sold on a clear title it is a beautiful truck really nice truck brand new tires clearly very well taken care of by the previous owner um, if you come to Tucson drive at home you'll pay the following you will pay whatever your state tax rate is, plus our city of 2.7%, and you'll pay a $250 dock fee. That's if you come here to drive it home. If you're gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price. There's no tax, there's no dock fee, nothing. If you are gonna pay by wire and ship, once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. Uh, we will... Uh, sign it off to you we will scan that into your online file so you'll be able to see the title uh, signed off to you immediately uh, we even scan in the envelope we mail it to you then obviously we throw it in the mail you will have the truck shipped to you um, you'll probably have the title before the truck shows up when the truck shows up you'll go down to motor vehicles with your title you already have and the truck that just showed up and get plates it's very simple um, deposit once we have an agreed upon price please get your deposit in. once we have a deposit we have a deal uh, deposit is $500. Once we have that deposit, we'll put your name and a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you and everyone else will know it's yours and it's no longer for sale. Um, six sevens like this, uh, at the price you're gonna be able to buy this truck are very hard to find. So I would say getting a deposit in quickly is gonna matter here. Um, so you don't get beat by somebody else. Last part of what I say, I say this about every single vehicle in our inventory. I'm never singling out any of them. I'm an equal opportunity announcer of this. So I encourage people to go look at every vehicle that we have for sale, uh, that we've sold, that are online, deposited, and currently for sale. About the end of the last two or three minutes of every video, I'll say the same thing. We have no salesmen, thank God, so we don't have to pay them. Uh, we don't have bottled water with our name on them. We don't have a lounge for you to hang out in. Um, if you were to show up to test drive, we'd say sure. We'd take a copy of your, uh, of your driver's license and throw you the keys and slap a plate on it. And uh, that'd be all the service you're gonna get from us. We, uh, we're an internet business, okay? Uh, so all the fluff and all the you know, BSing that you get at the local dealer, you're not getting from us. You get tons of information. Uh, video, photographs, car facts, um, everything we know about the truck so that the right person buys it. Um, but there is one responsibility on you. The day you own it is the day you own it. We are not doing any repairs from the second you own it on. So if a window motor breaks, you know, the day you get it, if it, 
you know, whatever, whatever happens, you are paying for it. Uh, we have people who have bought many, many vehicles from us over and over and over again. Uh, Kyle in San Diego uh, bought three last month. He's got to be well into the uh, 10 or 12 vehicles bought from us. He gets it. You know, he's had, I remember one, two years ago he bought, immediately had a problem with an injector. And he knew not to call. It's like, it's your truck. Fix it yourself. All right. Um, that's how we roll. We give you all this information. Hopefully you're able to... Uh, uh, accept a little bit of responsibility that it's your vehicle if you can't go buy a brand new one for 60 grand and you'll be set for a couple years and when the bumper to bumper is gone and the powertrain's gone in five years you will uh, still owe 30 grand and you'll be out of warranty um so well, 30 grand you probably owe 45 grand on these things now but uh anyway that's how we operate we don't want to make we want to make sure everyone knows what's going on um this truck is sweet i'd get in this thing and tow a lot of weight to Maine or Alaska right now. And anyway, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.